League Sports Trailblazers Reborn is finally here. Last Trailblazers, I was the first to unlock 5x Gmail spec. I unlocked Magic for the 5x Volatile Special Attack, and I somehow was rank 1 for a bit. This time, I'm going a similar route to speedrun points to unlock relics as fast as possible, so I can be the first one to use these extremely fun relics in my own way. I'm going for the starter relic of Trickster. It's a very good one early game, and since I'm gonna unlock Shinchompas and Shinchompa hunting. This is gonna be the perfect one for me. However, it's gonna affect me late game in a negative way. But I'm here to have fun. I'm one of the first in. Give me the knife. I got the knife. Oh my god, it's just spamming thieving right now. I, I don't even have to click. It's just spamming thieving. And there's 28 pouches. Oh, it keeps going. We're getting so many free points right now and we just gotta speed run it. I got a word document with uh, 64 tasks to do very quickly so hopefully maybe if we're lucky we can get rank one the, uh, i was gonna play on my main but apparently the jagex launcher is messed up right now it's broken so i can't play on my main so i gotta play on this account called goblin feats oh man all right we got our 10k we're gonna grab the boots as well because it does give me points now the real question is can i kill the lesser demon now or is there a queuing system someone's here so i gotta hop please I got a lesser demon, there's a guy, there's a guy in the queue And the lesser demon is killed, good luck, thank you for not interrupting me We did it, Vampire Slayer completed, 35 attack, 16 combat Metro Sword equipped for some extra points Ferris Flight, select, confirm And another relic has been unlocked I, I get teleports, it's not the normal teleports, but I get like Champion's Guild teleport, which is, it's unique and it's nice having something different. The reason why I picked the, the Faring Relic is just for this one reason. I want to go here to the northern side of Isle of Souls for the Hunter Spot and for the Box Traps. Just so I get as much XP as possible, I will be shopping these trees. I'll be fletching them and then I'll get my birds and redo. I gotta go AFK for a few minutes so I'll just be AFK thieving right here. Don't even have to click. Wait, I can click up to 84 coin pouches? This is amazing! Alright, uh, we can now unlock a new area and we are going wilderness. It doesn't have that much end game content, but it does have some speedy tasks to complete. It's probably gonna make me rush points a lot quicker doing this. Shit! I accidentally bought 3400 mind runes. Ah, oh, I got a thief for five minutes more. All right, first green dragon killed. We get mage runes, great item. That is, that's a lot of points given to me. Just from one kill. So far, the only one I've seen with wilderness unlocked is me, which means I'm gonna get 43 prey faster than anyone else. So I think I need to go for the first Jad kill. And I just defeated a lava dragon. We got the runite bolts, which is nice. Uh, I believe I need to bury this bone right here. For points, yeah, 40 points. I'm just gonna quickly show you how I work so I can make decisions and get points as fast as possible. I got this wiki page up, so whenever I do a task, I just press this and I've completed it so I can easily look through what to do and what to not to do. I have the relics page here so I can decide relics very fast. The quest list so I can see what quests I unlock with my areas chosen region specific tasks so whenever I unlock a region I can see what tasks this region has the relic I'm deciding to unlock is fire sale because I want to speed up everything the early game as quickly as possible I just want to reach the end game so fire sale is unlocked and with fire sale we can do stuff like this I can buy anything I want from any store, so no need for fire strikes anymore. I just go straight to death runes for fire blast. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. It's really good early game, but so bad late game, so it's fine. It's fine. I'm just having fun here. Just give me the cape. Fashion scape now on point with my nice obi cape. I'm currently at 1480 points. And if we look at the high scores, I should be rank 15 right now. So we got a bit left to go for rank 1. Since I got unlimited runes, I can just high alk whenever I go to get magic experience. Alright, we got 41 prayer. We can kill some bosses now. We killed the crazy archaeologist, got 40 quick points. Alright, we got a Larian's key. Oh no, these spiders are poisonous. Please no. Please don't poison me. 
No! How much does the demon put? Six! Alright, give us a Dagonite. Nah, four. And that's the Collodion killed. We should have the cape unlock now. I'm just gonna go with Sarah. Alright, I need Prey Potions, a Fedora, and Rune Crossbow from this guy. I get a Power Amy. Okay, that's something I didn't think I needed, but I needed it. 43 Prayer, Meal Overhead unlocked, 40 points. Alright, we are picking the Archer's Embrace. I want to go range this time. I went Magic last Trailblazer League, so I want to do something different. Range Relic unlocked. So in these leagues, there's one thing I really want to unlock. And that is the Zerite Crossbow. The Zerite Crossbow together with the Special Attack Relic. We can do 5 or 6 Special Attacks. It's a guaranteed hit so I can just spam hundreds with Ruby Bolts. And it's just gonna be so overpowered. Look at the speed of the arrows. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna AFK here while going to peace. And I'm gonna get AFK range training. Here back. And while I'm on the toilet, I'm happy to announce that this video is sponsored by the like button. So if you made it this far, click that like button. It's free and you can unlike it whenever you want if you don't like this video. I've gotten 52 agility from just running around. I have like, I've done barely anything. Any rooftops, any agility training, just from running around. Alright, give me a rune crossbow. Long bone? <laughs> this guy has failed 12 times. He should have picked trickster. It's just the overpowered relic right now. Wait, he, he did pick Trickster. Why is he failing? This guy doesn't have the level for Copper Longtails. <laughs> oh man. We're finally 53 Hunter, so now we're hunting Shinshampas. And the good thing about this, you get double the Shins. You never fail. 700, 900, 700. Oh, this is gonna be good. Look at the XP. It's so fast. And there we go. The range grind is over. 71, 61 range for the rune crossbow. We're gonna go and unlock it. Ooh, a red dehyde body upgrade. That's nice for range. Thank you. Matching my boots. Yes, we got it. Rune crossbow unlocked. Let's get out of here. Oh, that's 80 points for the rune crossbow. As soon as I unlock the ruby bolts for this rune crossbow, it's gonna be extremely strong. I just can't wait. There's a lot of fletching necessary for this though, but I'm just gonna rush it. I ended up killing the chaos fanatic for some points. I ended up killing the chaos elemental for some points. And I had to kill the KBD for some points. All this time I've been running down to the twin line to teleport away from the wilderness, but you can just use the fairy ring relic to teleport away anywhere from the wilderness. And that is our last task completed for a new area to unlock. And I have decided I want to go to Asgarnia. I want to do the God Wars dungeon unlocks. And that is where we're going right now. Another perk with a fire cell sigil. You can spam trees and get very fast construction and farming experience. The points from doing Wilderness Slayer is so quick, 75 points per task completed. And I'm gonna need 300 points to unlock Broad Bolt Fletching for my Fletching method. Because I'm gonna need a lot of Fletching for the Ruby Bolt upgrade. Oh my god, look at the speed! Rune Dars OP! Unlock, Brother Fletching, confirm, and it's done. That's the last task to unlock a new relic. I decided to just unlock Treasure Seeker, the Clue Scroll Relic, it's fun for the future. But the main reason I really want to unlock this Relic is for the XP boost, but also the extra points you get from minigames. Oh my god. I just unlocked the Broad Arrows and look at the XP drops. 1.8k. Oh, that's gonna be so fast. We're gonna test out the 5x minigame boost at Soul Wars for the crates, but also for some XP. We did lose. Did I get any points? I got 250 points anyway! 8 spoils of war, confirm. From a loss, do we get any added bolts? Uh, okay, we got runite bolts, that's best in slot for right now. 63 fletching, we can now, we have now unlocked the ruby tipped added bolts, we just need to get the added bolts now. Alright, give us added bolts. 
Edibles 600, 800, 894 edibles. We are done here. And the Ruby Bowls is now coming into the account. I've heard it's really good prayer experience doing Soul Wars. 259 Soul Wars points on prayer. What? <laughs> what? I can max in like no time. 1.5 mil XP drop on prayer. This is stupid. What? I'm going straight back in. I'm going straight back in. Wait, did they they nerfed Soul Wars after that? After I got 7th 8th prayer? From my understanding, there's an XP cap of how much XP you can get per day at Soul Wars. So they didn't nerf it. You can only get a certain amount of XP one time per day. So I've gotta wait to use my points until tomorrow. We are at Venonatus with the Ruby Balls. Let's test this out. Oh, there it is. Another ruby. Okay. Another ruby. Pfft. Another ruby. I got four rubies so far. Another ruby. Oh my god. Another ruby! Oh, the things I can do with this is insane. I'm just spamming rubies right now. Ruby's only at 48 now, so I'm gonna switch to the runite bolts. And that's one kill count at Venonatis. No problem with the ruby balls. If I can do that at Venonatis with this gear, imagine all the things I could do with a Zarite crossbow and maxed range gear and max prayer. If you can't wait to see me do that, make sure to... Mm -hmm.